Greetings, wise ones, and welcome back to the 8th House Wisdom channel. I'm Melissa of 8th House Wisdom, author, psychotherapist, business astrologer, feminine energy, and stellar planning expert. I'm here with the business astrology focused video about Aries season intuitive business tools, the last quarter moon in Capricorn, and the potent astro weather that will kick off April and the start of Q2 for the year in business. We'll explore the powerful energy of Aries season, the just started Mercury retrograde, and how all of this intersects with the use of intuitive feminine business tools for empowered leaders and entrepreneurs like you. So stay tuned for the rest of this video to learn more about this powerful time to pivot and reflect. And then make sure to give it a thumbs up so that it can be shared with other wise ones and female entrepreneurs via the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel for superstar business applications to create alignment, balance your yin and yang energies, as well as help you experience more ease and flow in your business and career life by keeping you in your soft girl era. Welcome to April and happy April Fool's Day. Today, we're going to be exploring the intersection of Aries season, the start of this astrological new year, as well as today being the start of the second quarter of the year and in the business world. We'll also be talking about the last quarter moon phase, our current status in the midst of spring eclipse season, and last but not least, the beginning of Mercury retrograde in Aries. There's a lot going on in the skies right now to digest, but much of it worked together to give you a clear picture of what's necessary to relax and recharge to be ready for the upcoming new moon, which is a total solar eclipse, also in the sign of Aries. So to start, we're gonna dive headfirst into the fiery depths of Aries energy and season, which is a time of bold beginnings and fierce determination, as well as entrepreneurial spirit. As we've been talking about this month, Aries archetype is the warrior queen. So she's always ready to go and take action amidst the leaping flames and kind of initiation by fire. But that relates to what the sun is doing. And as women in our careers and business, we need to look to the moon for our regular natural cycle. So it's time for us to embrace the softer and more intuitive sides of Aries and its masculine energy, as well as business. And it is being or intuitive or feminine yin energy that will best guide us through not only the ebbs, but the flows of life in a feminine body while working in a masculine space, such as business. Aries is known for its ability to be innovative and to lead. And this is an energy that we want to tap into. But for the rest of this video, we're going to focus on how to uncover some of those secrets of airy season feminine energy during this waning portion of the lunar cycle so that you can learn how it can help fuel your business growth and innovation in a more passive manner. Again, we'll also be getting into all the other major astrological events that will be impacting this next week coming up and acknowledging the turning up of heat in this midpoint, not only of Aries season, but of spring eclipse season and looking at the gifts that will be realized as a result of the foreshadowing that many of the natural cycle events will be bringing up 
during this month. To apply the information in this video, click the link below to get a free copy of your birth chart. Understand your planetary placements and get your planet positions at birth so you know where all the signs are in your chart. First, let's talk about the last quarter moon in Capricorn. On April 1st at 11.14 p.m. Eastern Time, we will experience the last quarter moon phase in Capricorn. It's a time for reflection, review, and strategic planning. It also gives us a dominant cardinal and influencer energy, which tends towards leadership and executive actions. So combine the powerful initiatory energies of Aries mixed with the archetypal energies of Capricorn, which is the father and the executive and entrepreneur, we really have an alignment of assertive energy and grounded wisdom that represent a mix of the first house of self and body and public presentation, more how people see you, your identity, and your sense of career, business, and then your public acclaim and image, which your reputation like. These are both public facing angular houses. And when I say that, that means they pretty much show up at Aries would be the nine o'clock on a clock face and Capricorn would be the 12 noon. These are very visible spots in our chart and in our lives. So we want to look to what's happening in these particular areas over the course of the next 24 hours to see what shows up as this is the length of time that the last quarter phase is active with its energy. Mercury retrograde in Aries. Well, I can truly say that April 1st is a busy day in the skies as we have Mercury stationing retrograde in Aries beginning April 1st. Now, Mercury in Aries generally represents being more straightforward, expressing your feelings, not being hesitant to speak, um, being a bit more hurried and active with its energy and having rapid insights. And retrograde energy turns that on its head. While I know Mercury retrograde can sometimes get a bad rap, if you follow me, you know that I suggest that it really offers a unique opportunity to slow down and reassess and realign our plans and strategies, particularly to what is going on in the current cosmic astro or stellar cycle. I suggest that you do this in the form of a quarterly review because we need to do regular check-ins on our progress to course correct. And I consider the natural cycle of Mercury retrogrades within a year heaven sent quarterly reviews because we usually have three to four a year, which generally break up the quarters of the year and demand our attention. As a general note, this is the first full Mercury retrograde we're having of the year. And Mercury retrograde will travel through all of the fire signs in 2024. We started the year um, ending a final Mercury retrograde of 2023 on January 2nd. But this is the first official 2024 real deal. Most of the activity is in our first house, the house of self, body, and our identity sector in astrology. And you can take a look at the current image to see how Mercury will go retrograde for the remaining dates of the year. Again, my recommendations for this time 
are to think before you speak, especially with Mercury and Aries, and to make sure that you back up your files and attend to all of the details and anything that you have outstanding or unfinished during this time, because that's what the natural energy calls for. With Mercury retrogrades happening in normally action-oriented zodiac seasons, which are fire sign seasons, we'll be experiencing a bit of a slowdown this year during Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius season. And it's good to know that those are on the board so you can plan accordingly. Remember that as communicators, fire signs tend to really shoot from the hip and almost all are brash and sassy. Leos provide the most warmth and can tend to be the most flattering. But Aries and Sagittarius are definitely known for their brutal tricks. And a good thing about this retrograde energy is that it tempers it. Aries is not known for thinking long or taking a beat. And so we're getting a little bit of that encouragement during this period of time. But I still encourage you to be cautious with your mouth because it's much more like a deadly weapon right now. And in order to really see how this is going to impact your social and personal life, as well as your career and business, you can see the themes over the next three weeks until May 13th when the retrograde ends. And I recommend you look at this information based on your rising sign. If you do not know that, then you can check your sun sign. And if you do know your rising sign, make sure you check both because both of the interpretations will have an impact on you. Intuitive energy business tools are going to be the key to us making the most of these cosmic energies in our business and career over the next three weeks or so, especially as women. So in the rest of this video, I plan to cover four practical tips to empower you to rest in your feminine, intuitive, receptive energies over the course of the next week as the best way to be in alignment with the current natural cycles. Tip number one is embrace the power of reflection. The waning phase of the moon is aligned with feminine internal actions. And so it's really a good time to schedule and set aside periods each day to journal about your business journey. We just closed out first quarter so it's a great time to reflect on your successes and challenges and all the lessons learned. Doing this internal work will provide valuable insights as you prepare for the Aries new moon total eclipse. And it will also help you to physically and energetically recharge, which is what we're supposed to do in the portion of the lunar cycle where we're in the ebb and not the flow. Tip two, prioritize self-care and boundaries. As women in business, it is essential to safeguard your energy. That is because we have lunar bodies and temperaments that work on 28 day cycles and start at the new moon in darkness, grow to light at the full moon, and then dim or wane all the way to the dark moon, leading us back to the top of that cycle again. This is a reminder that the energy of a month or 30 day period is not meant to be go hard and charge for all 30 days. It's 14 days to 15 days of action from new to full moon and then 14 to 15 days of rest from full to dark of moon. During the second half, as the light is dimming and we move towards dark of moon, we do best to align ourselves to the natural energies by practicing meditation and mindfulness, as well as engaging in lunar aligned and lunar based self-care rituals to nurture your mind, 
body and soul. This helps you with setting the necessary healthy boundaries. It helps you to scan your body and be aware of what your energy and physical needs are so that you can protect yourself, meet your needs, nourish yourself, and essentially prevent burnout. Tip three, foster collaborative innovation. Now is a wonderful time to tap into the collective wisdom of your team by hosting brainstorming sessions and engaging them in collaborative efforts about the ongoing direction for Q2. Encourage open and honest communication as well as creative collaboration around the progress of the first quarter. Solicit feedback and offer praise so that you can fuel innovation and growth within your business in second quarter. Tip number four, strategic planning with a feminine touch. As I've discussed multiple times before on this channel, strategic planning is what I consider to be a masculine or active structure support because it provides direction. Anything that's structural, holds things up, takes responsibility, leads or directs are things I associate with active, yang, masculine energy. Here we're talking about strategic planning with a feminine touch to reflect the time that we're in, as well as the moon phase. Leverage the strategic energy of Capricorn and any plans you came up with in Capricorn season and around that new moon in January to develop clear, actionable plans for the next quarter. See, this is the beauty of astrology to me as here we are, literally three months from that business-oriented energy and new moon. And so I encouraged you at the top of this year to consider what your plans were and how you wanted to set yourself up for success in 2024 around that new moon. During this particular period of time, as we approach the Aries new moon, even though it is an eclipse and I don't recommend starting any new projects, I do recommend taking that look back so that you can be well informed and make tweaks and or iterate a Q2 plan that will experience great success. Because we're in this feminine energy or intuitive portion of the lunar cycle, you want to incorporate aspects of intuition and or receptive practices into your plan and the way in which you make decisions. That looks like trusting your gut instincts, hunches, the feelings that you get, honoring your intuitive leanings and urges, even if they don't make practical or logical sense, because this is the natural cycle energy leading and supporting you. As we work to harness the energy, the initiatory, powerful, fiery energy of Aries season and navigate through these multi-layered cosmic influences of the last quarter moon in Capricorn and Mercury retrograde in Aries, I want to remind you of the power we hold when we work in flow and alignment. All of these powerful energies are calling us to do an internal and intuitive or reflective process. That's the work that we have right now in our lives, our businesses, and in our careers. This is the pathway to empowerment, focusing on internal action and receiving insight, being more than doing. Today is also the start of retrograde season and we are smack dab in the middle of eclipse season. So again, there are a lot of powerful energies surrounding us right now. The effect of the Aries influence may cause you to want to start something new, initiate something, 
and take outward action. So I'm suggesting that you work with this and recognize that the favored and aligned course of action is more in, within and internal and completing things that are not done as of yet. You wanna watch your own words and take caution around starting new projects because all of the current cosmic energies point to ending a cycle. And it is not that you can't get anything started now. It's to recognize that getting something started right now might represent kinks in a plan or resistance that you weren't really expecting to feel or, or encounter. The traditional work world, career, and business spaces are all masculine energies, ruled by the sun, governed and assessed by the work, the active work you do, the products you produce, the structures you put in place, right? And remember that the sun is a luminary, it's a light giver, and it provides light pretty much every day, unless you live at the North or South Pole. Now, we have shorter days and longer days, but we have days all the time. However, we as women are governed by the moon, and she has eight major phases with two modes, either growing or dimming light. And while the moon is also a luminary, she reflects the light of the sun and her position. Some days she's fully illuminated. Some days she's completely dark. Some days one half of her is lit. Some days the other half. The picture I'm painting here is that women are never in the same space within their 28 day cycle because that is our natural design. And so being flexible, responsive, and aligned to how much light we are emanating or reflecting is key to being in this waning and intuitive phase and weathering it in positive ways. Right now with this last quarter moon, Luna is in her final week of the feminine cycle leading up to this total new moon eclipse. It's the Great American Eclipse. It's a powerful, powerful event. So any work internally done before this is going to pay off significantly. This is our natural time to recharge our engines in the feminine intuitive waning phase of the moon. And when we want most to experience rest, recovery, and what we are referring to nowadays as the soft life. And to do that, it requires a commitment to relax, recharge, and do less so that our previous efforts and our seeds sown from earlier in the moon cycle, during the new to full moon, are able to take root and grow. The moon, just like women, has a rhythm of ebb and flow. And making sure that you are in alignment with it is the key to being able to be empowered during a particular period of time where you may feel called to take action, but the actual cosmic weather doesn't support it. So it's through the embracing of your intuitive, internal, or feminine aligned business tools, like the ones presented in this video, and honoring our intuitive hits that we can really get to a point where we navigate this particular period of time with grace, resiliency, and still be innovative. I hope that this has been helpful for you as a woman in leadership, in career, or in business to think about where you are in relation to the natural cycles and to give you insight about what you should be or what you can do for yourself right now to get into alignment and to experience the wave of softness coming at us right now in this luscious portion of the end of the lunar cycle. And remember, wise ones, that life and business do come with an instruction manual. It is written in the stars. Until my next video, which will be on the new moon solar eclipse, I am sending you so much light and love, wise ones. Bye for now. Wise one, are you ready for a stellar breakthrough? I'd love to help you with that. In this 30 minute free stellar breakthrough analysis, we'll identify the top five things that might be holding you back from aligning to your stellar success cycles and the one thing that you need to do to move forward. Current energy vibes, the year 
ahead, your story, whatever you need, we can start to work it out. Book your free private session today by clicking the link in the description below. I'd love to help you architect a life of more cyclical flow with ease and grace in 2024 and beyond. Check out my new Etsy store called Stellar Planning Tools to get some of my newest products to support you in applying Stellar Planning, the Lunar Wisdom Formula, Lunar Self Care, and to expand your manifesting practice. My new series, The Wise Woman's Mindset and Self Care Guides, are being offered exclusively on Etsy. These guides were created to assist you in living with more ease, grace, and with a process to make lasting change in your life. Check them out. Link is in the description below. Discover the keys to your life's path and purpose by reading the stars with a free personal astrology report sample from 8th House Wisdom. From obstacles to opportunities, these reports teach you what you need to know to thrive. Try out any of these eight types of astrology reports, two multi-package reports, and one tarot reading in the 8th House Wisdom Astro Report Store before you buy them. They're available for immediate download and specific to you, your life, and your unique birth information. Self-care isn't selfish. It's absolutely necessary for a soft life. Click the link below to get my free top seven beauty therapy and self-care tips and the beauty therapy checklist. Learn to manifest by the moon with my astrology ebook, The Lunar Wisdom Formula. It helps women stay in tune with feminine energy and manifest a life that feels as good as it looks. The 2023 edition comes with a bonus moon calendar and important dates. Click the link in the description below. Get more out of your beauty treatments and self-care by aligning them with the moon's mood and phase. In my astrology ebook, The Lunar Wisdom Formula for Beauty and Self-Care. This guide does all the hard work for you so you can get greater benefits from your self-care and live a softer life by the moon. Link in the description below. Introducing our newest book, Guide to Herbal Remedies, packed with information on how to use herbs and plants to promote health and well-being. The guide includes detailed information on a wide range of herbs and their healing properties, as well as recipes for teas, tinctures, and other remedies you can make at home. Whether you're looking to boost your immune system, reduce stress and anxiety, or treat common ailments, this guide has everything you need to get started with natural healing. Join us as we explore the world of herbal remedies and discover how you can use the power of plants to support your health and well-being. Plus, two bonus items for getting herbal tools and using herbs to smudge so you can round out your herbal med medicine cabinet and toolkit. Crystals are a fantastic tool to harmonize and ground your energy. Use my coupon code 8th House Wisdom for 11% off high quality, ethically sourced crystals. Click the link in the description below to shop today. Think, speak, and grow in abundant 2024 by downloading a free copy of the 2024 Stellar Year Blueprint. It's my formula for applying astrology to align your life to the natural cycles for greater ease and grace. Click the link in the description below to download yours today. 
get an in-depth look at the astrology of 2024 and more information about my stellar planning process with this free workshop, Stellar Planning for 2024. Think, speak, and grow an abundant new year. Click the link in the description below to watch now. Remember, wise ones, life does come with an instruction manual. It's written in the stars. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Sending you so much light and love. Take care.